This is Tayo Shalagbadi and you are about to watch a quick demonstration video which is actually a follow up to a video I did about um, 8 years ago for this same application but that at that time didn't have any audio. But I'm just going to demonstrate how one can post entries, entries into it and I'm promoting it currently um, as a tool that can be used for business marketing professionals. You could be an independent consultant, a marketer, um, for a company, a sales and marketing professional for a company, you could be a public speaker who wants to keep a track rec track of all your prospects and clients and you know uh, that's what you call a prospecting database. Um, I've seen many companies have gone to where they have the kind of spreadsheets, Excel spreadsheet where they track all the contact details of different um, clients. Now wha what you're about to see here is something that will enable you, is a tool that I created years ago to actually handle my own um, the details of my own contacts that I was uh, running across and wanted to keep in touch with over time. Uh, you know, sometimes you meet people and then you never really click but you share cards. I take the cards and I post all the details into uh, this application and then it enables me to dynamically um, track information about them and record details about our first meetings and all of that. I'll show you how it works. I'll just post some entries and then you can see how it works. And what I'm doing in, in this issue of my newsletter, 198th issue of my speaking stroke web marketing ideas newsletter i'm proposing to public speakers particularly and business owners in general that they can use this to track the contact details of the people they approach for business or that they already do business with i'm posting in details now from of my own for myself you know as an example using my nigeria um, records okay and you watch uh, w uh, maybe one of the things you want to see is at the back as i post this going into the spreadsheet you know just so you know that uh, the idea of i keep talking about this in all my uh, many of my videos for my software uh, my excel visual Basic software that one of the things i do is to build my software in such a way that they make it unnecessary most times for you to interact directly with the spreadsheet and scroll along multiple columns and things like that you will actually just be able to stay on this floating form and um, you know post all the entries you want to do and even generate any reports you want or retrieve data you know I which really makes your life so much easier you have you, you, your, your head is spinning f probably they won't spin at all compared to if you weren't doing that um, you know so this is it I'm just doing all this to show you how this works and once it's done um, and then I'm going to retrieve the information for you to see how it calls it up you know I'm just putting all my stuff in all my details in these are the kinds of things you will usually find on the business card, on the complimentary card, or the calling card that will be given to you by somebody you met. Maybe somebody referred me. Oops, this is mine, so nobody. So this is not applicable. I won't bother with that. I could put any or not applicable. You know, but this is my data. Okay. Now, if, once this is done, all I have to do is I click reload. Okay. To to post another record. So let me just do one more record. I have. And you, you, did you notice? I don't, I'm not sure if you noticed that it actually. Um, automatically um, filters them and rearranges all the data alphabetically. If you take note of that, you just filter the, the whole data and data sorted. So it makes your life so much easier. You can go alphabetically and you can view whatever you want to view without headaches. Okay, now I go to show you how calling up the data. I could just call, type my name, the one I just posted. Oops. Oh. Okay, you have to be sure that by the that's it. And you see straight away it brings up all the data. If I had put in my okay, for instance I didn't have the website data in there. And if you take a look at the spreadsheet behind us, you can see that's the data here. Okay, so if I go back and I want to edit this, what I basically do have to do is click here and just ask me if I want to go ahead and edit it and I say yes, then I can add the ww dot dot com to it. Okay. This allows me to click directly to open Outlook and to send an email. Okay, if I did that now, you can actually just open a copy of Outlook and I'm ready to send an email straight away with the email address I put in here. That will happen in a few seconds. This will take directly to the. You can see that. So Outlook is open. If I had set up my P, uh, SMTP, uh, if I was connected directly through Outlook, if I set it up, you know, with my web account, then I would be able to do this. I'm ready to just type an email and send straight away. That's one of the conveniences, um, apart from the fact that you have your data easily retrievable. The other thing is I can click this button here and it will go straight to my website. 
so whatever URL you typed in here it will just allow you to go straight to that person's website well I'm not connected to the center so that's why you have that message otherwise you should have opened the window and gone in there then here I can put in the uh, you watch the other video which doesn't have any audio and you will see how I use this area to track the meetings I had with the, with the client you know so in my case now this is my own data but just imagine for somebody else's that's how it would have worked now the photograph for the individual would also appear here okay you will see that in the other video you will see how the photographs appear when you click the person's name there's a, there's a syntax you follow in creating uh, the file names for the images that the person will supply so you have, if you have photographs for each individual, the minute you chose the person's name, his or her information would just appear. Okay, and so I'm just doing this shorter clip with audio to prepare you for the the other the longer clip, uh, the video clip that actually does not have any audio but shows you how the application works. All right. So when you, if you if you're interested in getting this software, you can get across to me with the information uh, provided in the on the on the page. But you can see that the, I still have the other addresses here. The version you will get will have tarashlawale.com. So you can go to tayu solagbad.com and send me a message from there. You can just send me an email directly at tayo at tksola.com.